Now, the chief executive of the online photo sharing service Instagram has defended the company's rules, totally banning pictures of topless women. It's been criticised by users, including several celebrities, for being too strict and sexist. In an exclusive BBC interview, Instagram CEO and co-founder Kevin Systrom said the company wanted to make its social network a safe place for all its users. One of the things I'm most proud about the Instagram community is that they're vocal and um, they're always willing to share their mind. In fact, we have over 200 million people using the service every month worldwide. And often in our position, you need to make certain rules to make sure that everyone can use it, that it's accessible for everyone, young and old. And our goal is really to make sure that Instagram, no matter who you are, whether you're a celebrity or not, that it's a safe place and that the content that gets posted is something that's appropriate for both, you know, teens and also for adults. So that's why we have to draw the line where we do. And we're doing our best to make sure to draw that line in a very fair place. Uh, Kevin Systrom there from Instagram. Uh, with me now, our social media producer, uh, Samantha Barry. And everything is censored around us now. Uh, there's not going to be a nipple on site here on uh, the BBC Global set for fear of me losing my job. Uh, but um, wh what's the background to this? Well, How did it all start? You could get your nipples out if you were on Instagram, but I couldn't. <laughs> so that's the issue here. Um, what this is boiling down to, it started about two weeks ago where... Rumor Willis, who's Demi Moore and Bruce Willis's daughter, her Instagram account was um, banned and taken off. Why? Because she had posted a picture of herself in a sheer top where you could see her nipples. She also, in one of the photos, was wearing a sweatshirt which had two um, topless women in it. I think we can show you. Uh, th there we are. That is Scout Willis, I think there. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Scout Willis, uh, Scout Willis there. Um, walking down a street in New York, clearly uh, with not much on on top and I mean I suppose the irony of us doing this topic is that frankly we can't blooming show it either. No it's quite interesting but uh, she tweeted this so on Twitter nipples are acceptable and she's walking down New York City street where again women being topless is acceptable. The conversation that she wanted to start and she's saying that she's been successful in is that why is female nipples, why are they being banned? Why are uh, pictures of women breastfeeding their children if a nipple is shown being taken off Instagram? Why are pictures of breast cancer survivors who take pictures of the post-surgery, why are they being take, uh, took, taken off Instagram? And in a, an online piece, she did a really interesting piece online where she um, likened it to 1930s, where male toplessness was not acceptable, where you had four men being arrested in Coney Island for being topless, for a flash mob of topless men um, in another American city. But by the late um, 30s, male toplessness was acceptable. Um, she says that this whole free uh, the nipple campaign is all about female empowerment. And so uh, how much pickup has there been on social media about hashtag free the nipple law? A lot. Um, so there's been 50,000 people in the last couple of days using that hashtag. Why as well it's getting a lot of traction is because there's a lot of influencers. So Rihanna is backing it. She had an Instagram account. It had 1.3 million followers, but it got taken down because she's known for quite risque and topless um, uh, Videos, pictures yeah. and images so that got taken off so she is another person that's backing this free the nipple campaign right so you've got Instagram on one side of the debate you've got Twitter on the other side do you think Instagram or Twitter will change its position as a result of this well, Instagram has come under a lot of scrutiny for the actual content that it has. Um, it's a very much a younger user base than a lot of social networks, so younger user base than Twitter, younger user base than Facebook, in particular in the US. And they've come under scrutiny for the images that are uploaded, like millions every day uploaded to this site. BBC Trending here did a, an expose last year on how people were using certain terms on Instagram to search for drugs and buy drugs. So they've been... they've. Um, upped their game in terms of their censorship and how they, they filtered the, the, the content that gets uploaded. Interesting stuff. Sam Barry, thank you very much indeed uh, for that. You are watching uh, BBC Global. And do